Happy Monday, everybody. Today, we're gonna give Duke an IQ test. We actually gave Duke an IQ test when he was a puppy, and Duke was on the lower end of the spectrum. Duke is four and a half now, and we decided we needed to see if those years of age and wisdom have left him any smarter. Who knows? Let's find out. So we're gonna run Duke through a series of five tests to see how he scores on this IQ test. And at the end of it, his points ranking will determine what level of smart he actually is. The first task is to cover your dog's head with a blanket and see how long it takes him to get out. And it'll get one to three points based on how long it actually takes. So let's try it. Are you out technically? All right, Duke, I think you did pretty well on that one. You get three points. High five. All right. This next test is to determine how well Duke can retain information. I'm gonna put it under Hufflepuff because I'm a Hufflepuff. Hey, hey, sit, good boy. Get the treat. Which one's it in? <laughs> get the treat. I don't have it. Duke. I'm gonna give you one point for that because I had to show you where it was again. We're gonna rearrange the furniture because his favorite spot to lay on is the rug and then let him come back in and see if he goes back to the rug to lay down. If he does, then he's able to reason and figure things out, adapt to change. Uh, if he gives up and finds a new spot to lay on, then that's kind of a fail. Let's see how he does. Alright, good job Duke. You did it buddy. Took him a while to investigate, and for that, he gets two points. For this next task, he has to get to this tree only using his paw. If he, oh gross, you're drooling all over me. If he tries to use his head, he still gets points, but not as many as he would if he just gets his paw. So, let's do it. Here it is. Well, I think you used your head there and it might have been my fault. Technically, you have to find something that uh, he can get his paw under, but not his head, but that's really hard for a great day. Like, we don't have stuff in here that's like just that right size, so that's kind of on us, but we'll give him his head points anyway. For this last one, we have to grab his leash, and I don't think he knows that word. He knows like what it means, so he usually gets excited about it, but we're gonna see how long it takes him to get excited. If I have to walk to the door to give him a hint about what's about to happen, then he gets less points. He's already <laughs> suspicious. Yeah. All right. I think he thought it was a treat at first, but now he knows it's it's for a walk. So you get two points for that, buddy. And your reward is a walk. Look at the majestic beast. We tallied up the score and Duke got 10 out of 13 points, which means he's not a genius. But he is a smart cookie, quote unquote. And he is very tired because that took a lot out of him. He did a lot better than I thought he was gonna do, which shouldn't really surprise me because he is a smart dog and he's pretty well trained. Now we know for sure he is a smart cookie. And if you wanna do this IQ test with your dog, we'll leave a link in the description down below for you to go to to do these uh, tests with your dog. Leave us a comment and let us know how it goes. There is one more test that we didn't do because it involves a cardboard box being larger than they are, than your dog is when they stand on their back legs and we were like, <laughs> um, that's taller than our house. So we're not gonna do that task, but um, you know, 
So we didn't do that one, but you can do that one with yours if it's smaller than a Great Dane. Or if you have a cardboard box that's taller than your house. Either way works. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. And uh, we hope you have a great week. We will see y'all later. Bye.